Gonna go into the shower now. Nice uh, Irish spring soap, but uh, <laughs> if you do believe that there are a large amount of synthetics in AMC, then you really, really, I'm not telling you what to do because I'm not a financial planner, okay? I'm an entertainer. But you don't want to wait too long on this idea that I have, which is to acquire AMC. Because let's just say hypothetically, you know, FDA father, I hate that guy, you know, fat tub of meatballs and... Uh, Chicken Parmesan. I want nothing to do with that guy. Guy's an idiot. Okay. All right. So you just keep ignoring me and ignoring me and ignoring me. And another year passes by, you know, where you don't send emails and you want nothing to do with this. And let's assume the protest. And I'm not saying anything bad, but let's just assume it doesn't work out. It's not a success. Okay. And then, you know, the 10 for one reverse stock split goes through and we lose 90% of our shares. And once again, you're just ignoring me. And then Antera, all the hedge funds, they short AMC back to the oblivion. Now you have only 10% of your shares with a low AMC stock price. Now everybody's going to just give up. I mean, listen, a lot of people already did give up. But at that point, that breaks the spirit. Now, I'm not trying to talk FUD, but I, I mean, did you ever think this is their plan? Is that they want to run AMC into bankruptcy. Because if they run AMC into bankruptcy... All of those synthetics that they used as like a friggin' avalanche that they put on top of us, okay, to keep us down, okay, and they're going to continue to use it to keep us down again, okay? They're not going to stop, right? Okay, so did you ever think that's part of their plan is to keep using these synthetics, keep dropping us down, short us to the oblivion, to the oblivion and then ultimately now we lost 90% of our shares, if the 10 for one reverse stock split goes through and then imagine having only like, imagine you had like, as an example, imagine you had a thousand shares of AMC and they have a hundred shares and they showed us all the way back down to $5. Right. Okay. You're not going to be too happy. You're probably just going to be like, man, I'm tired. I'm sick. I'm disgusted. I, I give up. I'm out. I surrender to the troops. The thing is, that's why you don't want to wait too long. That's why I don't understand why you're not sending me these emails. Like, 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 uh, you know, the Tasmanian devil. You should be sending it so fast. You should be like Sonic, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't get it. I don't understand. Like, do you want to wait until it's too late? Do you want to wait, you know, until it's finished? <laughs> and then at that point, <clears throat> I'll be honest with you, I probably wouldn't even want to do it anymore. Like, if it got to the point where we lost 90% of our shares and this thing was shorted to the oblivion, <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I'd be like, man, it's finished. It's like dust in the wind, you know? Um, so just consider that, okay? This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. It's not a solicitation for an investment. This is not legal advice. I'm not an attorney. This video and all my videos are for entertainment purposes only because that's who I am, the world's greatest entertainer, the one, the only a father in the house. Whoa!